What's up, everybody? This is Hector Tech Preacher. So a few days ago, I made a video about the Verizon Wireless LG Wing getting the software update to Android 11. And I stated in that video, I have not received my LG Wing software update for my T-Mobile variant. Well, a user named BabyBoy2022, what's up with your player, hit me up and said, hey, the T-Mobile variant have received the update and asked me, could I check mines? And you know what? When I checked it, my T-Mobile variant received the update. So here it is. This is the update to Android 11 on the T-Mobile variant. And I'm going to compare both of these devices and see what it's all about. So sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I've already updated my T-Mobile variant LG Wing uh, to Android 11. And look, I stated in my last video about Android 12. I know a lot of people are asking questions about Android 12. Look, please do not rush Android 12. And uh, for me, Android 12 is not a seasoned operating system compared to Android 11. Android 11 has been very good. So I wouldn't rush Android 12. I keep saying this in my videos. I just want y'all guys to know this. All right, also this update took 1.5 gigs. The update was very smooth. I'd have no problem with the update. All right, so let's go on and talk about both of these devices and I'm going to crank them on at the same time and uh, let y'all guys see the animations on the T-Mobile variant and the Verizon Wireless variant. Now I want to do this at the same time so y'all guys can see this to see if they have any differences when it comes down to the animations. Uh, as this booting up, look, again, uh, the, the update was really smooth, no problem. Uh, with the update and i believe both of them gonna start up at the same time now when i did the earlier uh video i think the verizon started up first and then the t-mobile variant started up last okay so the t-mobile variant started up first this time and the verizon wireless variant started up second a lot of this stuff gonna be underneath the hood uh as far as anything here i don't see any changes uh with the menu options here look i thought that once we got this update uh the removable battery that's plagued this device on Android 10 is still here on Android 11. So I thought they would remove that. Don't make no sense to have that message up there, but they did remove it. Also, they did not remove this on the battery. All right, I said this on my last video that you still have uh, that information there on the T-Mobile variant versus the Verizon wireless variant. So you don't have that there. So, you know, some of the things that I talked about in my last video, uh, they haven't made no changes with those setting options on my last video compared to this video. But let's talk about Geekbench 5. I did ran Geekbench 5 on both devices. I want to show you all guys this, all right? As you can see, Android 11 here, and I'm going to show you guys my about phone so you can see it, all right? And I just ran these Geekbench scores, uh, Geekbench tests, and look at the scores again. Uh, when I did the previous video, the Verizon wireless variant did had lower scores and Geekbench compared to the T-Mobile variant. So it's the same thing applies to Android 11. Look, in real world use, you would not see a difference. Both of these devices run as smooth, I mean, better functionality than Android 10. So no worries there when it comes down to speed and functionality. Now when you open it up, uh, the wing part is still smooth as butter, right? So you don't have no issues there. Let me remove these out the way. Still don't have no issues there. So you, you haven't seen any, I don't see anything different uh, with the secondary display. Everything still looks good here uh, compared to uh, Android 10. So it's really not too much that you're going to see going from Android 10 to Android 11. Even when you open it up uh, the camera app on gimbal mode you don't see no differences here with these devices um when it comes down to that now here uh you do see some different stuff here right uh and that's one of the things here you got cheese shutter here and you have voice shutter here again t-mobile versus verizon wireless that was there in android 10 it's still here and on on android 11. so there it is on that uh, but I don't see any other differences as far as uh, the camera apps compared to 10 versus 11. 
Uh, I didn't see no differences when it come down to the cameras on both of these devices. Um, only thing I'm seeing co coming from Android 10 to Android 11 is the smoothness, better optimization, and everything else in between. Uh, let me show you one difference that I did see is when you turn the device off. Now, this may be a T-Mobile versus Verizon Wireless. I want y'all got to see this. Now, uh, here it is. Now, it's, it's so weird that you do have two different screens here for turning off the device here. Uh, look like on Android 11 on the Verizon wireless variant, you have uh, going into your home settings here and on the T-Mobile variant, it just going to just click off, off and stuff like that and screenshot and stuff like that. Now there's no change log uh, for the T-Mobile variant as of me recording this video. So it's no change log so I can see what uh, T-Mobile did as far as uh, enhancements and stuff like that, any kind of changes. The one of the reasons why I have the LG wing is because of the stunning wing uh, capability, the pin support, the software, the speed, the cameras on here is outstanding. So one of the reasons why I have two of them is because I just absolutely love the phone factor. I love the design. I love a lot of things about the LG wing and this is one of the reasons why I have two of them. And here it is, it's Android 11, November 2021 security patch. You got your kernels, it's on Android 11 and that is a good thing. That means that in 2022, the LG Wing will be a great device. Let's talk about uh, the LG Velvet. Now the LG Velvet is still on Android 10. I know a lot of you guys are always asking me why my device is not on Android 11. I have not received the update for my LG Velvet yet. I will make a dedicated video to talk about that. And also I do have an Android 11 on my V60. So my V60, my LG Wings is on Android 11. My LG Velvet is still stuck on Android 10. Other than that, here it is. Uh, LG Wing, Verizon Wireless, and T-Mobile have Android 11. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the T-Mobile variant that just received Android 11 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.